like a hell cut. Hello friends, today our topic is FIR filter design and basically we are going to analyze every step what are the steps required to solve FIR filter design. So let's start. The first step is we have to find H of omega and we need cutoff frequency. So the first point we need these parameters. After that we have to go for H of n. Now this H of n is the second point. This is infinite impulse response of H of n. Then we have to go for window. So this is the third step and the window are of many type. So basically Hamming, Hanning, Rectangular, alright and the fourth step is the final answer H dash of n. Now this is finite impulse response. This is the fourth step. So this is the basic step for every or say any filter design. Now the important parts are, so let's hit that. The first point is to find the first step we need alpha, we need cutoff frequency, we need m and that's it. We need these three parameters. Second point, to find h of n IIR we need IDFT formula and that is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi 2 pi h of omega e raised to j omega n d omega. Okay, the third point for window. For window you should know every window formula. Every formula of window. The fourth step. Fourth step is to draw a table to get this final answer. So the table will be of first you will have the n range and n ranges from 0 to m minus 1. So it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to m minus 1. Second we have h of n in the table. This h of n is of IIR. So this is of IIR. It would be for 0, 1, 2, 3 up to m minus 1. Then we have uh, Hamming or Hanning let's say window. So we have h of window of n. So we have response of window again from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to m minus 1. This is of window. Now if we multiply this with this we get the answer. So this is h dash of n. So if uh, we find n equal to 0 we get this value. Similarly for n equal to 0 we get value here for window. When we multiply this two we get the final answer. So final answer is h of n into h of window of n. So we have to multiply both the response. So our first point, our first point was alpha m and it was cutoff frequency. Let's understand it one by one. Alpha means phase delay. So as I said alpha is phase delay so it can be represented as tau. Alright so the first point is what is the meaning of alpha. What is the meaning of m? m means the tap it is sometimes said as tap it is sometimes said as order of the filter. Alright, so the second point is what is M? Third point what is omega c? Omega c is the cutoff frequency. Simple. Now let's see what are the relation between them. So let's see the relation between them. First, now you know the meaning of the terms. So first step was finding h of omega and finding cutoff frequency. Why? Because h of omega is e raised to minus j alpha omega and with, with the use of cutoff frequency we can use the IDFT formula that is 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to pi which splits into minus omega c to omega c most of times depends on how the graph is working. This is h of omega e raised to j omega and d omega. So using this integral we can get h of n which is iir all right so the significance of h of omega and the significance of cutoff frequency are here when we use the formula 
so let's see how this term is manipulated first h of omega can be given in the question so this is very important h of omega can be given in the question now if it is not given in the question alpha is m minus 1 by 2 so m would be given all right so here m would be given or the easy term alpha is already given alpha means the tau factor either it uh, it would be like phase delay is given or it would be like tau is given or it would be like alpha is given if these are given you can get h of omega directly okay so in this way we can find h of omega let's talk about cutoff frequency if cutoff frequency is given directly in the question then it is cakewalk then we don't have any problem or else they would be like 2 pi fc and fc would be given in the question all right or this is important if sampling frequency is given then cutoff frequency is 2 pi fc by fs all right so this is important if fs is not given then 2 pi fc but if fs is given then 2 pi fc by fs so this was the first parameter now let's talk about the second parameter that is h of n that is iir now this is very interesting because either it can be n is equal to alpha let's say n is not equal to alpha or n is equal to alpha now n is equal to alpha is very simple this means h of alpha because n is alpha so h of alpha is 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi 2 pi d omega because whatever inside gets cut off like let's say e raised to minus j alpha omega into e raised to j alpha omega so this gets cancelled and we are left with d omega so this is very interesting when we talk about n is equal to alpha we have to solve this small integral and we get the value but when n is not equal to alpha we have to solve the idft formula as i mentioned in the previous example like h of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi 2 pi h of omega e raised to j omega n d omega all right now for generalized let's say lpf as i mentioned in my previous videos lpf for lpf we have the standardized formula and it is 1 by pi n minus alpha sin of n minus alpha omega c now you can see this alpha and this omega c are from step 1 all right when we talk about high pass filter again we have the trick so this is from trick and you can watch my previous videos this also I have covered in my previous video. So h of n is equal to 1 by pi n minus alpha minus of sin n minus alpha omega c. So you can see the basic difference between these two is plus sign and the minus sign. This term is negative whereas this term is positive. Alright. Now let's talk about the third parameter. The third parameter is also interesting. Third parameter is the window. In my video where I mentioned the basics of uh, FIR filter design, I have given the three windows, Hamming, Hanning and Rectangular window. The formulas are, so these are the formula. The first formula is for Hamming, 0.54 minus 0.46 cause of this term where n ranges from 0 to m minus 1. Now this m again we have from the first step. So there is no problem in this step. Second step is h of n. Again, 0.5 minus 0.5 cause of this term and this is of Hanning. Alright, when Hanning window is mentioned, use this formula. When Hamming window is mentioned, use the first formula. And when rectangle is mentioned, use this last. That is always equal to 1. So th this is the very easier window. This will save the calculation h of n is equal to 1. But for this, you have to find for every value like n ranges from 0 to m minus 1 so let's say 0 1 2 and 3 so you have to find this for 0 then you have to find this for 1 then n is equal to 2 you have to find this again so you have to do multiple calculation but for h of n is equal to 1 so it's for rectangle so it's very simple all right and coming to the last part that is 
the final answer so we have n we have h of n that is of iir then we have h of n that is of window so this is the second step this is the third step all right and this is the last step so we have the final answer so the answer is h of n is equal to h of n of iir multiplied with h of n of window now the trick here is first you have to understand what this line mean this line is when n is equal to alpha so when any n is equal to alpha what will be the case here is we have two two values of h of omega all right sorry we have two values of h of n so when n is not equal to alpha and when n is equal to alpha all right so when n is equal to alpha you have to find you have to write this value so this is the special case now what will happen if the question has this is an fir window all right with a linear face so what will happen h of n is equal to h of m minus 1 minus n this will happen which means what suppose i have 0 1 2 3 4 5 all right and let's say 6 so what will happen is 2 and 4 is same 1 and 5 is same 0 and 6 is same similarly this values here would be same and similarly all of them will follow the same pattern so what will happen here is let's say take example suppose n is equal to 5 when n is 5 h of 5 is equal to h of now m m value you can see because n ranges from 0 to 6 you can see this is m minus 1 this value is m minus 1 so this will get m is equal to 7 so 7 minus 1 is again 6 6 minus 5 that is h of 1 so you can see 5 is equal to 1 so this will save time you have to calculate only this area all right you have to calculate only this area this area will be the copy paste from the above So I hope you got this. So friends, अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो then do like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में Till then, take care. This is Shrinik Jain. Peace out.